Hi, I'm Gene Dybo with an update on a few MCK operations items going on in the community. First up on Monday, July 10th, the entire arena parking lot was finally paved. The paving was part of the arena upgrade grant through Economic Development Canada. That was announced back in January. Sticking with the arena upgrades, now that the new seats are in, they're actually for sale, sort of. You can purchase an engraving of your choice on one of the new seats for just 200 bucks. For more info on that, you can see Kenny Kane at the Sports Complex. Well, just down the road from the arena, Step by Step's new roof was completed by the MCK Capital Unit. If you recall, K103 held a Radiothon, which raised over $100,000 to fix the roof. And we're happy to report that the new roof is tin, which should last a lot longer. And we're even happier to report that it does not leak. Hats off to the Capital Crew. A one-day Indigenous policing workshop was held in Montreal on Thursday, July 13th. This was the third annual event specific to civilian oversight of policing in Indigenous communities, according to Commissioner of Public Safety Ron Skye, who is also the chairperson of the First Nations Police Governance Council and a director on the Canadian Association of Police Governance. The event was followed by a tour of Gahnawage, a visit to the Peacekeeper Station, as well as a dinner. For 14 years, a group of Indigenous women have been walking from Minnesota to the ocean to raise awareness on protecting water. Gahnawage ended up being a stop on the 2017 tour. We talked to Radzahayas Clinton Phillips, who greeted the group. Yeah, Gahnawage was honored uh, to receive the water walkers who have um, made a 14 consecutive year uh, trip around the Great Lakes and down the St. Lawrence River to the Atlantic Ocean. Uh, unfortunately, um, Josephine, who is, who is also known as Grandmother uh, Water Walker, it'll be her last walk. She's one of the women who created this, um, and due to health issues and her age of 75 years old, uh, it'll be her last walk. Um, we were honored by their presence in the community, uh, very humble people. Their message is a strong message through uh, First Nations people especially, and to Canada itself. Um, we need clean water, we need to do whatever we can to protect clean water and that's their, their message uh, to bring uh, knowledge and to make people aware of the issues that we face with polluting our waters, not caring about our waters, allowing shipments to occur through our waters, um, having sewage dumped through our waters. So this is their, I guess, um, her life's mission was to bring attention and I believe she's, she succeeded. And finally, on a cooler note, the splash pad at the old K103 site became operational on July 14th and will be there for the kids to use for the rest of the summer. Look out for a grand opening of the entire park in early August once the basketball court and lacrosse rebound wall are in place. That will do it for this operations update. Until the next time, Onegiwahi.